So I'm reading in the book of Genesis, the first chapter. And if you read that chapter, you will see that repeatedly God said, declared something, and it was so. First example in Genesis 1, verse 3, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. The other example in verse 6, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Um, another example, in verse 9, God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Another example, um, verse 11, And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And so the principle that I'm drawing out from that is that first God spoke, that first God said, let there be, and it was. First came the commandment, first came the speech, the words, and what followed after was the performance of it. What followed after was the act, the visibility, the visibility of it, the tangibility of it. So first comes the words, and you cannot see words. You can only hear the words, the declaration, the commandment. But what follow after, what follows after is the actual, tangible, physical manifestation of it. In a way, that's what prayer is like. We first speak. We first, when we're praying, we first speak. We first say the words. We Whatever we're praying about, whatever, you know, um, if we're making a request, if we're asking God for something, we are speaking those words. You cannot see those words. You cannot, they're, they're words, they're being spoken. But when God hears and when God deems to answer that prayer, the answer comes, the manifestation of those words that were spoken in request to God, then comes the manifestation of it. Then comes the physical evidence of it. The same way when we declare something, spiritually, spiritually we can declare a thing. We can declare the Word of God. We can declare, let there be, in our lives, a declaration, biblically ba based. We can declare it, we can speak it into being, let there be, and then follows the manifestation, then follows the physical performance of it, where we can tangibly feel it, see it, hold it, but first has to come the request. First has to come the, the speech, the words. First has to come the prayer. Now this is all spiritually based. This is not a uh, new way. Some preachers name it and claim it. It's not that. What I'm talking about here is 
this is the law of God. This is a principle of God. As he is, so are we. He made us in his likeness and in his image. We follow in his footsteps. He teaches us his ways and we walk in his ways. So I'm talking about a principle. And so, again, what did he do in the book of Genesis? What did, what did he do? What was the example when he was creating um, all creation? He said, let there be. He spoke it. He declared it. That speech, those words are not visible. You understand the intention of it, but it's not visible. First comes the commandment. First comes the request. First comes the words. First comes the declaration. And what follows after is the manifestation of it. So that's why the Bible says in Proverbs, death and life are in the power of our tongue. We can speak death, we can speak a curse over something, or we can speak life. We can speak a blessing over something. That's why we have to be very careful to guard our heart, to guard our speech because we can create death or we can create life. Spiritually, spiritually, based on God's words, we can pray something, declare something, speak life into something, and we have to have faith that it will be manifested, that it will come to life, that it will become real, tangible, physical. But this also must follow a principle, and that is that if the prayers of a righteous man availeth much, if we're walking upright with a clear, clean conscience before God, the prayers of a righteous man availeth much then we can have confidence that whatever we're praying, whatever we're declaring, whatever we're speaking will come to pass because we know that God will follow the pattern, the laws, the principles of his word, that it will be, that it will manifest, that it will become physical. 